Hello and welcome to Crime and Justice. Oh dear. <coughs> Sorry, I'm got to get a drink here. Oh god. Oh. Got a bit of a kick this. Irritate your throat. Now I can't get my juice open. Oh, oh god. Hope you've all had a nice weekend. I hope it wasn't too hard going back to work today, if you've been back to work. If you're watching on replay, please give this video a like, share it, because the more they're shared, the more Sebastian Rogers' name is put out there. Here he is. There. Share this video. Get his name out there. Say his name. Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. Say his name and say it proud. Don't be scared off by people sending cease and desist letters and other people taking over YouTubers to court because this is just ridiculous, ridiculous, right? They're spending more time and energy on that than they are looking, well, they've never looked for the kids, have they? The mother and the stepfather, they've never looked for it. Right, so, and oh my God, hasn't... Chris changed. Oh my lord. I didn't recognise him at first. When I seen him in the courts the other day. I thought, no, that isn't Chris. But he wasn't happy about something because I heard him talk. I, seen, I don't know if anyone else seen it. He was talking to the attorney or whoever they are. Right, he's leaning over and talking to him. And he sat back in the chair because he was sitting further back up in the rows. And he come forward to the front because he wanted to talk to the attorney or whoever it was. And he sat back after speaking to him and his face, oh my God, it was like thunder. He was not happy. He was not happy. Why? I don't know. Perhaps it's because it's been put off for another... So many weeks or whatever, I don't know. But he wasn't happy. And God, he's put weight on. He shaved that beard off and put weight, grown his hair. He looks a mess. To be honest with you, he looks a mess. He's let himself go. Right, so... It's doing all that. And then, when they got to walk out, that's when you realised it was Chris, because it, it was with Katie, and Kate, Katie's had her hair colour darker. Definitely darker. And uh, he went into her and gave her a kiss on the, on the, on the head. For yep, that's Chris. Showing off, being someone he, you know what I mean? Making out that everything's fine with him and Katie. I suppose it is. Yeah, no, Sebastian isn't there, isn't it, Chris? Being as you said, they will never find Sebastian. No one will ever find Sebastian. Why won't no one ever find him? That's my question. Why won't anyone find Sebastian? Right. I did have a completely different show lined up for tonight, but I don't know. I don't ever just have a chit chat with you about this show, about this circus of a show, of a case, I should say. Hi, Karen. Good to see you. I don't know ever. 
just to sit here and have a good old chinwag about this circus of a case. Because as I don't go live very often on Sebastian at the moment because still too much BS going about. And that BS needs to stop. Now, I know people don't like Nick the Hat. I can't say I like him and I can't say I don't like him because I don't know the guy. Right? But at least he's getting Sebastian's name out there. Dog, people may not like Dog the Bounty Hunter. I like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Right? Whether he can help in this case, I do not know. But at the same time, he's reaching people who we can't reach. He's got his own followers who probably knew nothing about Sebastian. Probably a handful maybe knew about Sebastian, if that. Right? But now they know about Sebastian. Like Nick the Hat. Probably a handful of his followers knew about Sebastian. But now a lot more know about Sebastian. And that's a good thing. Whether you like the person, whether you hate the person. Right? If they are getting Sebastian's name and picture out there, I don't care. The more publicity this little this lad gets, the better, I think. Because he's been put on the back burner for too long now. With all the BS and the circus of a case. It's ridiculous. He's been put on the back. It's like his mother and his stepfather. I've forgotten all about him. They've moved on. Yep. So, but we cannot, we, the YouTubers, cannot let that happen here. We cannot let this boy be lost forever. We cannot let him become another summer wells. We cannot. And now the hundred grand reward money. Surely that's got to loosen someone's lips. From what I understand, someone's already come out and put on Facebook, Barry. Why are they going on Facebook if they know some information? Why aren't they going to the FBI and telling them, or oh, dog, you know what I mean? If you know something, go to the FBI first. Any FBI office, phone them. Let them know what you know. Then, get into the dog. Let him know what you know, what you know. Because as they stated, if they pass all this information on to the FBI, and TBR. But Dog does not, I don't think Nick the Hack does anyway. Nick the Hack don't acknowledge Sumner County Sheriff's Office. Right. And I've always had my, mm, about them. I always have. I thought, yeah, okay. At first I thought, yeah. Seems like he's enough guy. He seems like he's going to get the job done. But then, to give up on this case, and I mean, they gave up on this case after what, a week? A week, seven or eight days, and then it was only then that the mother and the stepfather came out and spoke after the police stepped. So, when they say we can't go out searching, law enforcement don't want us out there, uh, law enforcement aren't searching, so yes, you can go out there and search. Law enforcement aren't doing it. So how can they stop you from doing it if they're not doing it? So as a mother, forget, forget Chris, these two people, the mother and the father. I don't care if you hate each other. Right? I really don't care. We need you working together. Forget Chris, he's the stepfather. Is in the background. Throw him in the background for a bit. Bring Sebastian to the front. 
and you two, father and the mother, work together. Unity. Show some unity. I don't care if you hate each other. I really don't. But we need you working together. Because if you're fighting each other, it's not going to help. It's not helping this case. You're not helping find your son. Why aren't you helping there, Katie? Why don't you get in touch with Seven and say, look, me and you, together, we'll do an interview. Right? Let's go on Nancy Grace again, or let's go on Channel 5 or whatever, News, News 5, whatever it's called. Work together. We need some unity in this case, right? Stop picking bones at each other. There's time for that once we find Sebastian. Once we find Sebastian, then you can, every YouTuber and anyone else can go after these people all they want. Right? Pick the bones at them all you want then. I don't care. All I care about is Sebastian. All I ever do care about on my channels is Sebastian. Right? I just care about the children. I don't care about the parents. They are not the ones missing. The child is missing, not the parents. And that's what we're here for, the child, the person who is missing. Right? And as for these threats, I am so glad now. I've got a clip here, I'm going to show it you. And it's of Jennifer Coffin Daffer or something, the FBI agent, ex FBI agent. And even she couldn't believe what she was reading. You know what I mean? Even she could not believe what she was reading because it was disgusting. The threats that are coming out towards whoever. Right? Her posters are being took down. Why? Why are posters being took down? Well, you sat there in an interview, Katie and Chris, saying we, we're thankful for everyone's help. Please keep putting the flyers out there. Please keep looking for him. Please keep getting his name out there. We are doing that. And what are you doing? You are taking us to court then. You're taking a, you, you took one YouTuber. Who else will you take to court next? I'd like to see you take me to court because... Getting me on a plane over to the USA, it's not going to happen. Not happening. Sorry. You have to knock me out before I got on a plane. Right? So, who else are you going to go for next? Because this is a problem. This is why people are backed off this case. Because of the cease and desist that Seth sent out. Right? The court... Taking a YouTuber to court that the mother done. They should not be doing none of that, Seth or the mother, Katie. All that is BS. Just stop it. You want your son found. But stop it with this BS and work together. I've seen plenty of parents who have separated but have come together when their child is missing. Plenty. Right? And if you can't do that for your child, then it just shows me what you feel for your child. If you cannot work with the husband, or the husband cannot work with the mother, then it just shows me what, what that child means to you. So stop with this petty BS, stop with all the cease and desist and taking YouTubers to court. Stop it now. Stop with the threats. Whoever is doing the threats, stop it. Because I tell you now, you're just getting dog riled up even more by threatening, putting threats out there. He's getting riled up big time. You may not like what he said, how he singled out Katie, but to be honest with you, as I've always said, it should be on her. She was the parent with him last. She spoke to him last. She saw him last. Seth didn't see him last. Chris didn't see him last. She did. 
and they don't like it because people have, have thought, hold on, the mother was the one with him last, so why are we looking at Seven? Why are we looking at Chris? Should we not be looking at... And they don't like that now because everyone's turned their focus on to Katie. And Chris is not liking it. Chris is the control freak. He's got control of Katie. And we need Seth and Katie and Chris to feck the back. Back the feck off. Go. Just back away. It's not your son. Back away. You hadn't been there for nearly a month. So he's not your son. Back away and let Katie come forward and start working with Seth. You can't do it when you're not working together. You mean you've got two different parties going at it at different angles. It's like trying to fit a, a circle into a, into a square. It's not going to happen. Well, no, not a circle, is he? Is it a circle into no a square into a circle? It's not going to happen unless the square is smaller than the circle. Then you can do it. Right? But it's not going to happen. You've got to stop this pettiness. They've got to now because this is just ridiculous. Every day I log on to YouTube and every day I see some other bullshit coming out. And this is why I don't go live no more because I can't deal with the BS. Well, I've just finished doing a video, actually, before coming on here for my other channel. Right? For my because I do five five D diamond art, so I I opened up another channel for that, and I do that as much as I can. Right when I'm not doing research for anything on here, and to be honest with you, I'm I'm seriously thinking of concentrating on that channel more than this one at the moment because this one is just do these. But I've got other cases I'm looking at as well. So, I don't want to drop this channel. I don't. I'll keep this channel going because there are other cases that are ever missing children that need our attention. Right? We've got one, two, three now. Two definite going for murder charges. And one is a death, death investigation. But that is going to change very soon, I think. So, I've got three cases there that are going to court. That will be going to court. I've got Audrey Cunningham, Madeline Soto, and Eliza V. Those three are going to court, to my knowledge, that I have been covering, are going to court. And I will be at those courts for all of them three cases. But Sebastian needs to be found. Sebastian needs to come home. One way or the other, he needs to come home. And if anyone is out there and knows anything, now's the time to talk. Because I tell you now, if you know something and the FBI track you down, they're not going to go easy on you if they have to track you down. Right? But if you come forward and sell them what you know, they'll go a lot easier. And if you don't. So we're going to look at a video. I'm going to, I've just got to pull it up. I would have normally had it all ready, but I was doing a, a video, as I said, for my other channel. So I'll edit all that later. Oh, come on. Oh. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, if I can. Yeah. Right, and it's just a small part portion of this video I want to show you. Hold on, I'm on the wrong one.
you know what? I think I was on the wrong channel. Come on, come on. Oh, this is too bad to do. Right, back on that. Right. Just check some on here now. Right, band. Just checking my band jam on the crime just to see her. So, yeah. Right, so. This is a video she put out three days ago. Right, and I was watching, and I didn't go live because, over the weekend, because as I said, I have my grandchildren. So I saw this and I thought, well, then we heard about Elijah Vu, and I thought, well, I'm going to do Elijah Vu on Sunday. And, no, I'm not. Just trying to find it. Just trying to find it. Oh, come on. Right. right. Just go back a little bit. Oh, come on. Don't know what's up with my mouse and whatever today. Just come on. Oh, come on. I swear to God, this is in my head. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. I've got to the area I want. Let's take this off. And I'm going to present part of this video. Because she makes sense by what she says. A bit like what I've just said. I don't care whether you hate a person, whether you like a person. They are, they are putting Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers' name and picture out there. And it's reaching an even bigger audience. Right? And we know Dr. Banshee has a fair few followers. So does Nick the Hat. Got a fair few followers. They will all know, now know about Sebastian Rogers. So I don't care if you don't like him. Right? They are getting his name out there. They are getting his picture out there. Simple as. Right, now this is Jennifer Coffindale, and she was doing a video on four of, there's four cases she was covering in one, one, and she's just sort of like giving a brief rundown of each case. So, and I think I've got to the right area that I want to be at. So let's just run it from here. I do not do criminal backgrounds on YouTubers. I don't do criminal backgrounds on people that I engage with in Twitter. I would spend my whole life doing that uh, with the, all the engagement that I have. I don't do that. What I care about, though, I care about Sebastian Rogers. I care about the fact that Dog and Nick put up to try to help encourage someone to come forward with information about that. I care about that. I care that they have shined a renewed focus on Sebastian for a case that was languishing like Summer Wells. It's like I'm reliving Summer Wells again. If you look back six months after Summer Wells went missing to this point in time right now with Sebastian Rogers, the same exact feel. You got all sorts of crazy statements that are inconsistent that were made by the mother in this case. You have a child that most likely did not just walk away 
and no one has seen them. Now, could they have walked away and somehow got picked up or somebody coordinated them being taken? Or, you know, in other words, parents don't always know. I know supposedly he didn't have Wi-Fi. I know supposedly he didn't have any way to connect. But did he connect at school? Was he using somebody else's phone? And he said, listen, I'm going to come out at 4 o'clock in the morning, Sunday night, and I, you know, Monday morning for school. And, and I'm, yeah, let's get together. We don't know. We really don't know. But I can tell you this, this is criminal at this point. People who don't understand this is criminal, I believe it to be criminal at this point. I don't believe Sebastian Rogers, like Connor Jack Oswalt, which I'd like to compare those diff those cases, but they were a couple of years apart. You know, there's a big difference between 15 and 17. There is in every way. I've had three of them. It's very, very different. And no, do I think he's just out there making it on his own and, and you know, hanging out with homeless people? I don't think that. Someone caused his disappearance. And that person will hopefully someday be held or people responsible. I totally arranged it himself, right? And what we see with the two lights going, we don't actually see a light going to the house before, before we see those two lights, those lights coming from the house, yeah? We don't actually see any lights going to the house, right? But as I said, We didn't see the full video in the first place, did we? We only used to see them lights. We never saw the car that was parked there at first. I noticed on that first video, that small one minute, so many seconds long video, there was a light source at the bottom of that. And I kept wondering what the hell is that light source? And then it comes out, there's a car there. Right? But... Someone did some work the other day, and I'm going to go over that in a minute. I've seen it on Facebook. But let's listen to what she has to say again. Keep going. Is that the Proudfoot? We don't know. They're not cleared. Seth isn't cleared either, although, and I'm probably not going to do it this live, but I have some very new, interesting information that all of you are going to want to hear about. I just have to. It's in document form. I need to get it out there and I need to um, show it on the screen. And But that'll probably be my live on Monday. I'll do it on Monday. That'd be interesting. Um, I'm going live to from that. New York City. I'm going to be in New York City for a special shoot on a case. But I just want to, I just want to, point out this is a criminal in my opinion from what i see when i see the fbi come out with fifty thousand dollars i think i did this before i'm going to go through it really quick i'm the fbi agent say and i have opened a police cooperation case that we talked about before now i have my police cooperation case so i can actually do things and justify it i'm going to have a file review on it i'm going to my supervisor is going to keep track of everything i've done and, and i plan to do and that i'm doing so so it's a legitimate case, police cooperation case. Now I'm going into my, uh, because I'm working closely with the sheriff's office and everybody, and I'm now going to go to my supervisor and I'm going to say, I want 50 grand to try to, or to offer as a reward. He's going to say, oh, yeah, right. I want to see why you think 50 grand is going to do anything. You need to justify this. I am next going to sit down. I'm going to write a novel. What would be some of the reasons that I could use to justify a $50,000 reward by the FBI? What? Well, some of the reasons are that they truly believe he was either abducted, taken by somebody, coordinated, or that he was murdered and 
that multiple people know about what happened and they are hoping the low hanging fruit, somebody that knows or might have information will come forward and they are dangling that $50,000 carrot. Right. Now, this is what got me. I thought, well, if they believe there's someone out there, do they know possibly that there is someone out there? Do they actually know if there's anyone out there? And I've always said, literally from day three, day three, when this happened, the whole case got spun around, literally. Something happened between the day went missing the Monday and Wednesday. Right? And why is a district attorney involved in a missing child's case? If it's not some sort of criminal case? I can't say a district attorney, oh, I want in this case, it's a missing child. Yeah, I want in. I want to be kept up informed about, about this case. No. They only come in on a case when they believe something has happened. Criminal wise. Something they can probably take to court. You know what I mean? So. I'm going to write all that up. I think now, I don't know because I'm not on that case, but that's the kind of information that my supervisor is going to want. I can't just, can you imagine if every missing person case we, you know, could just get 50 grand for it? It'd be nice, but we can't. It's got to be a case where we think it could legitimately result in actionable uh, evidence, facts coming forward, people coming forward. So they've proven that. Because not only is it going to my supervisor, now it's going to my ASAC, now it's going to my SAC, and then my SAC is going to the program manager at headquarters. And I know because I was a program manager, uh, supervisor at headquarters in the weapons of mass destruction. So when you have these huge dollar amounts that you need approval for, for whatever it's for, you got to get up the chain, clear to headquarters approval. So... That's what, that's why that happened. I want to read to you a text I got today. Ready for this? This is the text that she got today, about well, three days ago. And when I was watching this and I heard this, I went, are they serious? Is this for real? I couldn't believe what she was reading. And she didn't read it all. She was skipping over bits of it because she couldn't put that out there or say it. So just listen to what she has, to, what she reads out. One minute, one minute. I'm looking. It's important. Um, okay, here we go. You ready? I have received death threats, rape threats, and honestly, we think, oh, I better not say this part. I'm, I'm going to skip this part. But we think so-and-so is trying to scare us away. This situation is insane. And we all know who they think so and so is. Doesn't take a brain surgeon to guess that one. Hold on. Just have to take another drink. Sorry. Oh, this is some. I better go on. Um, basically. This person is saying it's the worst situation they have stepped into, that they've never seen this amount of hate and of distractions on a missing persons case. It's a huge, I mean, honestly, I feel like I'm reading the exact text I got from the Cajun Navy guy 
and, and from Uvalde and from others who have worked this case. What is going on? Why is this little boy, why are people making death threats, rape threats? Who, who threatens rape? What is happening? What is happening that whether you be a YouTuber or you're a private investigator, what is happening that no one is welcome to look for Sebastian Rogers? What is going on there? Exactly. Who is... Well, she obviously knows who who I think it is. She's seen the text, and so she obviously knows who they believe it is or think it is, right? She just can't say, which is fair enough. You can't say because you've got no proof anyway, right? But who... Why would they want these searchers, the people who have given their time, I put the cat down. Given their time, right, to go out every day and look for anything, anything, any sign, any, anything, a, a bit of a black top or a black top or some black pants or anything that could say, look, Sebastian's being this way or We've got, we've traced something to here, to this place. You know what I mean? Why are they trying to stop the searchers? Now, it won't stop Dog. It will not stop Dog and his team. Because in my eyes, Dog's made a bigger things than that. They'll try. They have silenced Nick the Hat. But that's because he's on probation. So he's, he's a probation officer who probably said, look, you need to back off this case for a while. Stop winding people. And I'll tell you something now. Someone said it the other day. And I can't remember the exact words they used. They said, they, Nick the Hat is doing, is winding, I would say, is winding people up, right? Because he's not scared of them. Right? And he's winding them up. And to get people to come out the woodwork and say, I know the truth. I know what happened. I know where Sebastian is. Whatever. He's winding people up to get them to talk. Right? To get them to slip up and make a mistake, maybe. Because... This is why Katie won't talk. This is why I believe Chris will, don't want Katie talking. I don't think it's got anything to do with Katie not wanting to talk. This is her song. If it was my song, I'd be telling my partner, you can F off. This is my song, and I will talk to whoever I want to. I want my song found. But if she knows something, I'm not saying she does, not saying, as I've said, if, well, I'm done. I'm just going to put some up. I've done this today. Right? This. This is a true crime channel without the drama. Everything I say is purely in my opinion. Please do your own checks. 18 years plus channel. Okay? So everything I say, please. Do your own checks before you go off saying anything, because I might be wrong, right? And I'm not accusing anyone. Everyone is presumed innocent until found, until they're found guilty, right? So everyone is innocent. No one has been cleared, not Seth, not Chris, not Katie. Right? No one. They will not clear anyone until they've got specific evidence to say it was this person or it was that person. 
and only when they've got enough evidence to get that person and to charge that person will these other people be cleared. Right? So, you've got people threatening searches. This has been going on from the beginning. Ever since groups started coming in to help search. And as I said, I don't care if you like the group or you don't like the group. I don't care. If they're getting that child's name out there, that's what I like. Uh, that's all I care about is getting this child's name and picture out there. To the People say, this should go nationwide. Well, dog is nationwide. Everyone in the UK knows dog. The bouncer and cat, they know him. Right, if they've never watched him, they've heard of him. They know him. Right? I don't know Nick the Hat. Never heard of him before. Never seen any of his YouTube channels before. Nothing. Right? He's a bit mouthy, a bit gobby. Right? He don't care what he says. He don't care if he offends anyone. He really doesn't. Right? Well, that's Nick the Hat, I suppose. Some people... It's a bit like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. And that's what Nick the Hat and Dog the Bounty are. You either love them or you hate them. That's your choice. But at the end of the day, as I keep saying, they are getting. Isn't that picture of that little boy out there? It looks like they forgot that this is a 15-year-old boy. Yes, but he's got the mentality of a 10 or 11 year old. So he's not streetwise. He wouldn't be streetwise because his mum never let him out the house, really. He never even played in the garden, I don't suppose. Right? Uh, the only time he came out the house on his own was to get the school bus in the morning, and that stopped right outside the house. So all he had to do was come out the front door and walk to the curb. And get on the bus, you know what I mean? I wish I wish they did that here in the UK. School buses. Right? But our schools are pretty local. Are within walking distance, a lot of them. Senior schools, like the secondary schools, are not. They you do have to travel to them. But they won't get like well, yeah, fifteen years of age and plus. But this is a missing child. Why is there death threats going out to these searches? And now I believe the FBI are looking into this. So whoever is making these death threats will be found. Right? They will be speaking to everyone who's made a complaint or who's been out there searching and had death threats given them. They'll be speaking to them now and wanting to know who it is who gave, who issued the death threats. If you don't know the name, did you come in an email? Was an IP address? You know what I mean? They can track it. They will find out who's giving doing this. Right? So, we'll just finish this because, as I said, she was doing it on a four-part thing. She's got about another six minutes left. Anyway, I think as a community, and I'm just going to ask this of each of you, no matter what you have, and I, you know, I had the greatest intern. She's so great. I had one from IU and then one from Michigan, uh, University of Michigan, and I'm going to be advertising soon for another intern, but they ran, you know, my TikTok and my Instagram. I don't, I don't have anything to do with those. Obviously I'm very involved in the Twitter community. Whatever platform you have, whether you are a TikToker, whether you're an Instagrammer, whether you're a Facebooker, please, today, just put Sebastian Rogers' picture. Or maybe I have this great one that has his picture that my editor did that's amazing. And when he went missing, where he went missing from, how old he is, just the particulars. But it's not sloppy. It's beautiful graphic. I'll post it on Twitter right after this. Post on him. 
Let's get his face and his name out there. Let's do what we can as a community to try to help find this young man and what happened. He didn't disappear. He didn't evaporate. Aliens didn't come get him. No way. Something happened to that little boy. Something happened to him. The Bureau thinks it's criminal. That's my opinion. It's my opinion. And we need to help find that little boy because it seems like everybody else is getting roadblocks. So let's see what we can do as a community to use every platform we can to flood his picture, to let everyone know there's a $100,000 reward. And no matter what you think of dog, no matter what you think of Nick, no matter what you think of the other people that have been involved with this case and bringing exposure, please use your platforms to get Sebastian's case out there and understand that at least Nick and Dog combine their resources to offer $50,000. So now there's a $100,000 reward out there. Let's make it about Sebastian again, please. Please, let's make it about Sebastian. People know what happened to him. Somebody is responsible for him not being seen anymore and it's going to take a whole community a whole nation certainly the state of tennessee to try to help find him please help him not become another summer wells i think it's very positive that the fbi put out this fifty thousand dollars because it tells me they think that the people responsible for why he is missing, that there's hope. You didn't see them do it in Summer Wells. Didn't see him do it in Michael Vaughn. You saw it here. Not on Harmony Montgomery. We're seeing it here. I think there's leads. Please get his face and his name out there. Sebastian needs us. All right, everyone. I've spoken way too long. I like to keep my lives at. Right. This is true. I just like, before we go any further, I'd just like to say hello to everyone on X who are here. Thank you for being here with me tonight. And those on YouTube that are here. Thank you. Anyway, she's right. Those on X. Please, get his picture. If you don't share this video, just put the flyer out. Put a picture out of Sebastian with a heading, a $100,000, whatever, $100,000, whatever, reward. Just put it out there. Right? So... I'll be doing that daily now. I was doing that daily at first. I'm now going to start doing it daily on Twitter. Putting this picture out there. I'll make one up later with the with the rewards on it. Right? And I'll post it. Just get his name and picture out there. Let people know he's missing. You don't know. There could be someone in probably... Seeing some activity going on in a house. Right? Now, I can't say too well because I didn't know I had new neighbours in my block on my floor. I only found out today because they brought over a parcel that they had, they was given by mistake of mine. Right? So I didn't see them coming and going. I didn't see them moving. Right? I wouldn't because my door, when I'm in the balcony, where my little office is, I don't, I can't hear my front door. I can't hear no one at my front door. 
or what's going on outside my front door, unless someone starts kicking at it, then I'd probably hear it. But I wouldn't see, but if I was in a house, and I seen some suspicious, like, just has anyone noticed if he's alive, say he's alive and he's being kept somewhere, right? Has anyone noticed someone doing a shop and they've started buying different sort of foods, right? Yeah? Has someone's grocery bill suddenly gone up? People who work in shops, they see people every day and they see their regulars coming and going and they know what they buy. Is there anyone you've noticed that is buying more of some certain foods, like snacks and the, um, it's got to be, what was it he likes? Full fat milk, he don't like that. Stupid low fat milk stuff. So, are they buying anything different than what they used to buy? Look at it like that because it's got to be fed somewhere. If he's alive, they've got to be feeding him. As for his medication, they could be getting that on the black market. They could really be getting that through the black market. They don't have to, you know what I mean? If you've got contacts, you can get whatever you want off the black market. You really can. Right? But I'd be looking at people who work in grocery stores. Is there anyone whose habits have changed? Are they spending more on certain foods? Right? Have you seen your neighbour? Have you seen certain people coming and going at certain times on a regular basis? Are any windows blacked out? Are there any windows that are blacked out in a house that normally has their blinds open all day long and now all of a sudden the blinds are shut? Things like that, little things. People can help. But we can help by getting his name out there, by putting his picture out there. Now, what gets me and it upsets me is... Elijah Vu, right? He went missing on the 20th, six days before this lag, before Sebastian. Six days. He went missing on the 20th. His remains were found a week ago, and on Friday, they came out and told us those remains were Elijah Vu's. Three years old. That's such a sad case. However, his family, his aunts, his grandmother, his uncles, right, never gave up, kept looking. The community where it, where the little boy went missing from never gave up. And best of all, the law enforcement, Two Rivers Police, never gave up. They kept looking. They'd have search parties out. They had group search parties. They had the family had talking about search parties, right? They even had a fourth birthday party for that little boy. Even though he's not here, they even had a fourth birthday party for him about a month ago now. Getting on for a month. And it highlighted Elijah Vu being missing. And everyone stuck together and helped and did everything they could. And you know what? He was found. Fortunately, unalive. But his remains were found. Because his name was out there. Bump, bump, bump all the time. There wasn't people threatening searchers. There wasn't death threats. There wasn't threats of rape or anything else. There wasn't all that. It was just the community and the family members and the police all working together to find that little boy. This is what we need in this. We need the community of Hendersonville, right, to come together and start searching, to start helping. Don't keep taking, whoever is taking the flyers down, stop it. Someone's taking the flyers down, we know that much. We don't know who. 
but someone is definitely taking flies down. Why? Don't, who does not want this little boy, this young boy found? I keep saying little, he isn't. He's 15 years old. He's a, a young teenager. Who doesn't want this young teenager found? And why? Are these searchers who are out there, when they're searching, are they getting too close to the truth? And that's why the threats are coming. To make them back off. Because this is so, so wrong now with this young lad. It's ridiculous. And I feel sorry for this. I do. I do not want this. I didn't cover the Summer Wells case. I wasn't online at the time. But I was watching YouTubers who did cover it. And I started watching it. I remember when she first went missing because it was on our news channel in the UK. Because I remember there was an interview with the mother. And I thought, she can't have got far in a wounded area, you know what I mean? She's got to be found soon. And that was all we ever heard about the case. We didn't hear nothing else. So then when I come online and I started going on to YouTube and I seen people talking about something, I went, what? They're still looking for that little girl. Still. And I think it was coming up to 18 months to the second anniversary. I thought, you got to be joking. They're still looking for her. So I've been watching that case for the last, from when it was like 18 months old. And that was just ridiculous as well. But nothing like this case. There's no threats going out to the searchers then. There's no, no threats at all going out to anyone out, out, out there searching. Nothing. But in this case, they, someone feels they need to get these searchers away and threatening them. No, not on. This is a 15-year-old lad. And I have been covering this case from day. He went missing on the 26th and I went live on the 28th. Because I first heard about it just before I went, I was just getting ready to go to bed on the Monday evening. And I seen Trev Time come up on the YouTube and I thought, okay, I'll watch this. And that's when I heard about this case on the Monday evening. So on the Tuesday, I goes to bed and on the Tuesday, I get up, goes on to my laptop and I'm thinking, everything about this lag. And at the time, there wasn't a lot because it only just gone missing. There's a couple of police interviews by that chief of uh, the uh, sheriff, right? There's a couple of interviews by him and whatever. But there was no interviews by the mother, the stepfather or the father. And I was watching it and I was going live every night. But I was also going live on Magdalene Soto because she'd been reported missing the same day. So I was covering two cases and, well, three cases because I was covering Elijah Boo, Magdalene Soto, and Sebastian Rogers, right? And I believe at the same time, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm sure it was around about the same time, uh, the father of Harmony, Harmony Montgomery, may have been before, but I was covering that case as well, the court case. So I had quite a lot going on at the beginning. I came in hard. When I came in on this YouTube channel, I came in running hard because there's so many cases I was following at the same time. Now, Harmony Montgomery has been sold. Well, he's gone to prison. Elijah Vu, he's been found. They are, they've marked, they put down as a death investigation, but I think that will change. Right? We've got Madeline so uh, Audrey Cunningham were waiting on the trial date for his John McDougall or whatever his name is, that piece of SHIT, were waiting on his court cases to come up. And then we've got Madeline Soto and that piece of SHIT, his court case to come up. 
and I heard something about October. I'm thinking, please be after my daughter's gone back because my daughter comes down on the 10th of October. Please be after, because I don't, I won't be on while my daughter's here with my grandson. I will not be on. So I won't be on on the 10th, the 11th, 12th, and I think it's the 13th. I think she goes back on the 13th. She's only here for three or four days, so I'm not going to waste it by sitting on here. I'm going to be with my daughter and my grandson. But if anything does come up on the court cases, then I, what I'll do, I'll just quickly go onto my Twitter account and share it onto there. So then when I do come live, I'll go on my Twitter account and I can quickly go back over the courts, whatever happens, okay? And do run a poetry. But this case is just unbelievable. I I thought some of Wales' case was a circus. I really did. But this case is just unbelievable. With the threats, the FBI have got... See, some of the country wasn't doing anything. No. It, it can't be uh, Sebastian. Because he, his body would have come up a long time ago, Robin. Unless it was tied down. Unless they've tied him down like they did with Audrey, Rob, Audrey Cunningham. That piece of SHIT tied her body to a rock. And they had to get the water lowered so they had to stop the water at the dam coming into the river. So they had to stop the water at the dam. So the water will come lower, so the boats, people in the boat could search that area better and find her. But they found her. And she was tied to a rock. And she's just, whatever. Right? So, I have listened to many medium card readers, whatever you want to call them. And they did say he was weighted down, but they didn't say where. I have said, if he's in the river... He'd be weighted down because his body would have come up months and months ago if that was the case. Right? News 4. Let's have a look. News 4. Let's see. No, that's channel Do they have it on YouTube? Let's have a look. Right, let's have a look. We're in agreement that we need to do and tackle the social care crisis. I think uh, absolutely. So why didn't How? We? I well, I think that is a responsibility of government. Oh God, that ain't the right channel. Uh, Let me add that for you. Right, I'm trying to find you. So when I put in news for here, I get my channel for news, the UK channel. So I'm punching in news for Tennessee. See what happens. Mm, see what they're saying. Come on. I had to and just this it really just put my fucking head in. Mm. 
I'm not finding anything. Give me a SM3 news for Tennessee. Body find I'll just put body finding with a cello. Body find in Cumberland River. Oh. Right, no, that was two months, three months ago, two years ago, five months ago. Right, let's try this thing. Body and <laughs> right. Twenty two minutes ago they got a Petersburg man drowned after diving a pontoon boat on popular Tennessee Lake. Seven days ago man's buggy pulled from Cumberland River in Nashville. All toxic that was seven days ago. Authorities recover man's body from Cumberland seven days ago. The latest one I've got so far, and I put in body found in Cumberland, Cumberland River, Tennessee. And I've got this. I'll share with this here. Petersburg man drowns after driving a pontoon boat on popular Tennessee. 14 on year old clowns Clay Claiborne was visiting. Old Hickory Lake in Tennessee last week. When it, last week, when the incident, and we're only hearing about it now. I've got, I've got to take that off. All right. This happened last week, it says. 49 year old Clarence Clay Clayborn. He's visiting Old Hickory Lake in Tennessee last week when the incident... Why are we just hearing about it now? But that's the only thing I'm finding to do with the Cumberland River. Is this guy here? Everything else is like... Five days ago, five days, seven days, seven days, seven days, yeah. one month. God, there's a lot of bodies in the Cumberland River, isn't there? So, the last related I've got. That's all they're showing at the moment. But thank you for letting me know, Robin. Yes, I've listened to many mediums and everything. And I want to listen to... I didn't get a chance to listen to it all the other day. It was the one I like to listen to. I didn't get a chance to get to listen because I had my grandkids there. And I had my earpiece in, but then you know what grandkids are like. They're three and six years old. And they like, grand this, I want this, I want that. Can you do this? Can you do that? On Facebook. Right. Let's get my Facebook open. I've got a new Facebook page. I'll put the link in the on here for you. Because my other Facebook I couldn't get onto. Facebook was being a pain in the rear end. And wasn't letting me into my accounts. Apparently, I posted something that went against their community. Come on. Why? Let's have a look. Body. Right, submit here. 
Nick Perry. Right? Nick Perez. Breaking. Body found in water down from Cheatham County. No, this was uh, May. What am I wrong about? This was May. God, no. Nick Perez, October. January. No. Hmm. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh. Let's sort this out a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just going to sort something out. Okay, bang now. Right, here's my new um, Facebook page. Please go and um, whatever, whatever you do in Facebook. But apparently, I broke some of the community rules, rules, and because I couldn't get onto my this Facebook page for my for my YouTube channel. I couldn't get onto my normal page, my family page, for my family and my friends. And I couldn't get onto my 5D Diamond Art page that I, I, I opened up. And I couldn't get onto my kiddies page, which I do Christmas parcels for. And I thought, oh my lord. So eventually, I was allowed to open up a new account. It wasn't even letting me open up a new Facebook account. And then the weekend, I managed to do it, and I thought, great, I can shove that old account now, I don't want it. Because they won't let me back in. I appealed, and I appealed, and I was not letting me in. Oh, thank you for so much. So, I don't know what I posted, being as I'd, I only ever went on my long crime and justice page. I only ever went on the other chat, on the other Facebook page. To check on my two groups that I run. And that was it. I didn't post anything on my other page. On my family page. And I never posted anything that broke the community laws. On my other page. On my crime and justice page. But I've got a new Facebook page. So please. Come and follow. Whatever it is you do for Facebook. Follow. Like. Whatever. <laughs> but I'm not finding anything. On Facebook, I'll try and use this again. See if there is anything because uh. Yeah. Last thing I posted on there, Bonnie Bells was about an hour ago, and it was about some three little children wandering the streets, partially clothed. Looks like the nappies are like full, they're going to be falling off them. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm not finding anything. Let me point to the gate in. Sixteen. Oh. Right. Let's just see. What I say here. Body recovered from Cumberland River. Want to make sure this is the right one. I'm checking on the date. September the 16th at 8 23 pm, 54 minutes ago. Uh, 
Right, uh, 54 minutes ago. I swear to God, if this don't start working soon, I'm going to smack it one. Ah. That's what I'm saying. I said earlier, Robin, if anyone knows anything, it's best they speak up now. Because if FBI are forced to track you down, they will not go lightly on you. But if you come forward and speak to the FBI and tell them what you know, be good or bad, whatever, they're going to be much lighter on you than if they have to track you down themselves. And they will. Right, as I said, we've got some it here. So, what is Right, Nashville, Tennessee, WSMV. A body has been recovered from the Cumberland River on Monday afternoon, according to the Metro Nashville Police Department. Someone called 911 after spotting a body in the river just before noon. The medical examiner is at the scene. WSMV4 has a crew at the scene of the recovery to learn more. Right. So let's... WSMV4. I think they've got a YouTube channel. fell asleep while he was driving on I-24. WS. To next week, for most of you watching now, I don't expect much in the way of rain. We go live to Nashville. There's some fair weather clouds. Uh -huh. Clouds live in Clarksville. Briefly, at times, the clouds are blotting out the what? sun. Again, okay. there'll be a little more cloud cover. Uh... Let's see. They said they've got someone down there, but they're not showing anything. And I'm not going live on it, put it that way. Because there's nothing here. You know what I mean? So, all I'm saying is the body's been found, and that this channel, WSMV4 Nashville, is down there. But, hang up. Let's just see. Click on the live, perhaps it might be in there. Might be looking in the wrong area. Alright, what are we looking at? Alright. Clarksville. What are they doing here? I don't know what they're doing there, but we'll go back off that one. What's this one? This would be good if they actually told you what we're looking at on these lives. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not showing anything live. The only thing live is in Clark's. Well, I've got four lives, but I've got downtown from this on stadium. I've got Nolensville, West, Na West Nash Nashville, or Clarksville. And Clarksville, it looks like there's some men on a roof, some workers on a roof. What can I show you?
I don't know what they're doing on this roof, but it's not in the river. <laughs> you know what I mean? Looks like there's a fire engine there. But I know that Cumberland River is a big river. I know it's a big, uh, it's too early. Right. By the time I'll, I'll probably be in bed by the time they release anything, you know what I mean? So it'll be, I'm always late hearing about anything because by the time they actually go live or release anything, on this case, I'm in bed. I know sometimes I could stay up to two, three, four in the morning, but I can't afford to keep doing that daily because it will wipe me out. My thing. Here's my. Oh, there it is. So. But what I will do, I'll keep an eye on not this. Obviously not this, because that isn't what we're there for, right? I will keep an eye on it, because it'd be interesting to find out what is going on. Could it be Sebastian? We don't know. But did they ever get search? Actually, search to search the Cumberland River. We don't know that either, because I'm sure they would have. They found right. What happened with um little Audrey Cunningham? Audrey Cunningham. Cunningham. Is I found something, but they weren't sure what it was. They just seen some moving about in the water because it was too deep, so they had to get the water levels down lower. So then the boats could pick up better what it was, and that's when they realised what it was. So I'm sure if he'd have been in the river and Ecusurs had had their boats on the river, we will know if it is Sebastian. Yeah, we will. We will. Something needs to start happening now with this case because the FBI are not messing about with that reward. They don't, as you just heard, Jennifer, the coffin daffer or whatever her name is, sorry for making a right dog sting of her name, I apologise. Right, but, oh God. She knows how the FBI work and they don't just hand out that $50,000 for nothing. Right? They don't. The most I've ever seen was 15,000 and that was for little Elijah Vu. But Sebastian, it's, someone needs to start talking now because Sebastian don't deserve this. He does not deserve this. He needs what he deserves is to be brought home. One way or the other, whether he's alive or unalive, he needs to be brought home. And the family, or whoever is involved in this, God help you. If, if they track you down and find you, it'll be worse for you if they, if they have to go the running to find you. But, where's that going again? But it's just, I don't know about, see, they can issue me, they can come and say, like, if they wanted to threaten me, stop, stop putting his video out there, and I go, and who's stopping me? Who's going to stop me? Uh, I'm in England, I'm in the UK. Threaten me all you want. I've said from literally day three, especially when, well, not even day three, you know when Seth and Katie was put, called up to the TBI office, right? Remember? And you remember when 
Uh, Seth was all happy because he's seen that video of Sebastian coming out of the Texas Roadhouse. And then we had that uh, Web Sleuths interview uh, live where Chris came in like a bull in a china shop, right? And he went going, he was not happy with Chris, uh, Seth, right? And he said, You saw the video of yours, of Sebastian. There was you, Katie, the sheriff, the FTBI person, someone from the FBI, and the DA. And I went, As soon as I heard there was a DA there, I went, Hold on. What's a DA doing involved in a missing person child's case? I didn't think they'd get involved. Unless it, there's a criminal evidence, a uh, criminal f f facility or whatever it is. They're not going to get involved in a missing child. A child just, just walked out of his front door. So when I heard that, that just confirmed to me that it was a criminal case. Please won't, won't say that. They say, no, it's not a criminal investigation. It's just an investigation. And then we had the private investigator say she asked for some information. And she was turned down, saying she couldn't, they couldn't give her the information because it was a criminal investigation. And then you had the sheriff's office and whatever coming forward saying, no, that was a um, mistake. It wasn't a criminal investigation. It's just an investigation. So why can't she, the PI have that in paperwork then? If it's a criminal investigation, I can understand, but if it's just an investigation, why can't she have that information? What she was asking for, and they wouldn't give it her. Because it was a criminal investigation. But they kept denying it and denying it. And then when the FBI come out, I, what, it was six months missing? Was it six months missing? Yeah. With that $50,000 reward, I went, Yep, it's a criminal. They just put it, signed, stamped, and sealed it by giving that $50,000 reward. So, get that little boy back up here because that's what we're here for. We're here for him. So, it's just... I don't know what else to say about this case. I really don't. I just want the mother and the father. Forget Chris. Chris, back away. Back off. You're the step parent. You haven't. You hadn't been there for uh, nearly a month. So back away. Let Katie and Seth, the parents, the bio parents, the mother and the father, sit down and talk. Let them go out and search. Let them be united together. I don't care if they want to kill each other. Just be united together and go on these interviews. Stop hiding, Katie. Do the interviews. Show a united force with Seth and do some interviews. Forget Chris. He's the step. He's nothing. He's nothing. Right? But you're the mother. And as far as I can see, the only person putting anything into finding this boy out of all the three parents, the mother, the father, and the stepfather, out of the three, is Seth. And yes, what he has said and done is not right. He has done some good, bad things. He's done some stupid things. He's said some stupid things. Right? But is the only one putting the effort in to get these organisations in, to get searchers in. He's the one been calling all these uh, United Cajun Navy in. He's the one who got Uvalde brought in. He's the one who does all these vigils and these bike rides and organises, tries to organise all that. I don't know if he's back at work yet. So if he is... He's at work and then every time he's got any time off, he's out there. 
doing something or doing an interview or whatever, but getting his son's name and picture out there. Christ's sake, they didn't even cater and quiz. Now, if I'd gone out of state, right, my son's missing. I'd gone out of state because apparently he could be anywhere, right? And I was living in a five-wheeler, yep. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now, right? But Yogi Bear. And I was staying at Yogi Bear's uh, park, yeah? And my son was missing. The first place I would go to with some flyers in my hand would be the local sheriff's office, the local police station, whatever. And I'd say, have you heard my, my son, Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers is missing? Have you heard about the case? If they go, yes, sir. Have you got any flyers? If they go, no, well, yeah, here's some flowers. Can you put them up in your station somewhere, in the canteen, anywhere, on your notice board, anywhere? If they go and go, say, well, well, my son, here's the flyer. He went missing on the 26th of February. She hasn't done none of that. And how do we know that? Because a YouTuber who was doing a search down there at an old empty house that was falling apart, while he's doing the search, the police came up and spoke to him. The police knew, and this house was just across the road from the caravan park, right? The police knew nothing about Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers being missing. Nothing. Knew nothing. So if they didn't know anything, that means the people of that town knew nothing about it either. And yet, apparently he could be anywhere, and that's why she went down there. They haven't been out there searching, because the first place you go to in any state, any county, whatever, well, it would be my first place, would be the police, the local police or the sheriff's office, whatever. Because in the USA, you have sheriff's office and you have local police, don't you? And all that, you've got different. Over here, it's just one, the police, full stop. Right? But you could have more than one police station in a town. So I'll be hitting every police station in that town. Bump, 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 bump. Here's a flyer, can we put that one? Here's a flyer, can you put that? I'll be hitting every police station. Right? I'll be hitting hospitals. I'll be hitting train stations, bus stations. Have they done any of that? No. Because no one knew about him being missing down there. Because they didn't tell anyone. So... When they say, oh, we've been searching. No, you have not. You've been sitting there scoffing your face and getting fat because it shows when you was at court, you put on a lot of weights, Chris. I don't know. I didn't really see much of Katie. I just noticed her from the back. Her hair looked darker. I did have a picture. Hold on, let's see if I can find this picture. I'm sure I had a picture of him. Oh, come on. Would it be that one? Could it be in that folder? Let's have a look. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, I have got a picture. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put it up on Facebook. It's in folder one, okay? Let's close this down a minute. I thought I got a picture of them. Right. No, 
I don't know if she's put weight on in the face, but he definitely has. He's let his hair grow, he's shaved his beard off. You know what I mean? He doesn't look well, to be honest with you. And he wasn't, he, was, he looked really pissed, peed off at court when I was seeing him. Because I know he was sitting next to Katie and then I seen him move forward to the front row. And he was leaning forward talking to, I believe, the attorney. And they're talking. Then he sat back and his face was like thunder. He was not happy. Right, but she's definitely, you can see she's coloured her hair. Look, there's the light bee, there's the dark bee. You missed a piece, Katie, you missed a bit. Right, so she's definitely, are they trying to change their appearance so people won't recognise them when they're out and about? I'd want everyone to recognise me. Oh, that's the mother of Sebastian. Oh, look, you know what I mean? I'd want them to know who I was. I'm the mother of Sebastian Wang Drake Rogers. As I say, as I said earlier, say his name and say it proud. But you two won't say his name and you don't say it proud. Seth says he. A lot of YouTubers say it, but you two don't. So I'm going to get, oh, get that back. Let's get that, oh, keep it in the wrong one. Get them off, put him back up. All right, say his name, Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers, 15-year-old autistic lad, went missing between the hours of 12 and 6 a.m. on the 26th of February, 2024. No sight of him, not on video camera, not on any doorbell camera, nothing. No scent, nothing. It just disappeared. Right? So, I don't, it's just ridiculous now, this case. As I keep saying, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that because, as I said, there's nothing much else to say about this case apart from we need these two. Oh, God's sake, my cat just jumped up on my lap. These two to put their differences aside and start working together to find this lad. We don't need Chris in the picture. We don't. He's a stepfather. He's not blood. And we all know he didn't like Sebastian. We know that. Don't sit there trying to say this house was full of love for that child. No, it wasn't. Not by you anyway, Chris. Right, so... It wasn't. It wasn't loved by you, Chris. So anyway, we're going to finish it there, and I'd just like to say thank you to everyone on X who's been here, and Twitter on YouTube who's been here. Thank you all, I really do appreciate you all for being here. If you haven't already, share me some love on Twitter, share this video, if not this video, screenshot that picture. Screenshot it on X. Screenshot it. Do what you have to do. Get that picture. Right? Get this picture. That's a very young photo of him, I think. People say that one made them look older. No, that's the older one. Screenshot this picture on X. Post it on your page. Ping it to the top of your page so that every time anyone comes on your page, that's the first thing they see with his name and a reward on it. Just keep his name and his picture out there. Don't be scared of. The FBI are on this case now and now you get any threats, any anything now, just inform 
your local FBI office. Right, I'd have to go to the consulate, wouldn't I, if I've got any threats? I don't know. Embassy? Possibly the embassy. An embassy I'd have to go to. But you know what? Let them threaten me because I go, huh, huh. I'm scared of a threat. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Carry on. This is my channel. I say what I want, and it's my opinion. No one else's. Why? I cannot be held responsible for what people might put in my comments in the chat. Right? That is their opinions and their views. I will not stop them from having their own opinions or their views. But everything I state is in my opinion. Right? Unless I've got the paperwork, the facts in front of me, which I can put up on the screen to say, this is true, this is it, there's a receipt. Then that is a fact. That You know what I mean? I work on facts, and we haven't got many facts, apart from, we do know now for fact, there has been threats issued. We know that for a fact. That is a fact. Right? So many of the people who've been out there searching, or people just putting your name and picture out there, talking about, have been told to back off. Which I think is disgusting. It's just helping get this child's picture and his name out there. I don't care if you like the person or not. I don't care. No one should be threatened. No one should be threatened with RAPE. No one's lives should be threatened. They're out there looking for a little boy. Who is who is it who doesn't want this little boy found? I've got a good idea who it is. But we've got no proof, so we can't say. But if the FBI are onto this, they will track the IP address down if it's in an email, if it's in a text message, they track the phone number down. It might be a burner, which is a bit harder then if it's a burner phone. But they will track them down. And I believe the FBI are looking into these threats now. So, anyway. Once again, I'd just like to say thank you to all of you for being here with me tonight. And I will say, stay safe. Give your little ones a hug. Let them know you love them. Till next time.